taste has a great new shape at Taco Bell. And that new shape is called Border Bowls. Hi everybody, welcome to your Border Bowls training. To ensure that Border Bowls are a great success in your restaurant, it's important that you deliver a wow product to our guests every time. Now a wow product is made with the highest quality of fresh ingredients that delivers on abundance. What's that mean? That means your border bowl needs to be filled to the rim with our delicious fresh ingredients. In this video, we're gonna introduce you to our first offerings of the border bowl lines. And it's called the Zesty Chicken Bowl. As part of your training, we're going to introduce you to two new ingredients, our red strips and a zesty dressing. We're gonna take the time to review rice preparation and we're going to teach you how to fry and store our new red strips. So why don't we go ahead and get started. I'd like to turn it over to Michelle, who's going to take you through rice preparation. The first step to making border bowls is to start with high quality rice. For the launch of this module, your rice usage will increase significantly. So you should make four single batches of rice in a one-third pan. Begin by filling the one-gallon pitcher with hot water to the two-quart line. Pour the water into a one-third pan, which is larger than the one currently used. Pour four packets of rice seasoning mix into the pan with the water. Mix water and seasoning with a sanitized rubber spatula. Add four one and a half ounce level scoops of shortening. You should continue to use the one and a half ounce scoop because you may only need single or double batches during non-peak periods. Using the new rice measuring cup, add four six ounce cups to make a third pan. One leveled off cup equals six ounces. Mix all ingredients together to ensure proper rehydration. Cover the pan with a flat lid and mark the 30 minute rehydration and the new four hour expiration time. Yes, the rice hold time has been extended to four hours. The rice should be fully rehydrated after 30 minutes. After stirring the fully rehydrated rice with a rubber spatula, you should not see any water in the pan. If you do, the rice has likely not been prepared correctly. If this problem occurs, place the solid lid back and let rice rehydrate for 15 more minutes. Always discard after the four hour hold time. And now Christina will show you how to store and fry red strips. With the Zesty Chicken Border Bowl, we are introducing new red strips. The storage and frying procedures are almost identical to our current chips. These new strips come in 10 pound cases. Place four handfuls of strips into the chip bin. Be sure to separate the strips as you place them into the chip bin. Never remove the case of red strips from the walk-in. Twist and tuck the red strips bag to prevent drying. Always fry red strips and nacho chips separately. Separate red strips again when placing into fry basket to prevent clumping. Place all of the red strips into the fry basket at one time and cover with nacho chips fry lid. First, press 42 second fry time, then put basket in oil. Do not move the lid up and down, as you do for nacho chips, because red strips will float out of the basket. 
When the timer sounds, turn it off. Place fry basket onto bracket and press 30 second drain button. Dump fried red strips into the chip bin. Do not salt the red strips. Salt is not needed for the red strips. Place one half batch of fried red strips into a 1 6 stainless steel pan with hinge lid and false bottom. Label with a 10 hour hold time. Place pan immediately on the steam line. Pans placed in the heated cabinet for backup should have a flat lid and also have a 10 hour hold time. Now that we have our ingredients ready, Walid is going to show you how to build the perfect border bowl. Hello everyone. I will now show you how to make the perfect border bowl. The steamer portions three ounces of beans into the bowl using the three ounce bean disher. Remember to stir, scoop, and tap. Portion three level scoops to equal 4.5 ounces of rice using the new disher with the yellow handle. Serving the correct amount of rice is important to delivering the perfect taste. Portion 2.5 ounces of lettuce by filling lettuce to the rim or top of the bowl. No more and no less. Never pack or smash down the lettuce. It is important to fill the bowl to the rim to deliver on abundance. Portion a half ounce of red strips using your fingers. Notice how full this product looks, but we are not done yet. Then portion 1.5 ounces of chicken using a leveled off chicken spoodle and pass to the stuffer. The stuffer portions a quarter ounce of three cheese blend. Portion one and a half ounces of Fiesta salsa using two scoops of the purple handled disher. Be sure the scoops are rounded. Now this is a perfect wow product. Be sure the product weighs 14.3 ounces without the lid. Provide one packet of zesty dressing with every zesty chicken bowl served. The dressing must be refrigerated. It can be stored either on the cold line or in the reach-in cooler. Now you've seen us make a zesty chicken bowl, let's review the key points to making wow zesty chicken bowls. Prepare rice in one-third pans for peak periods. Use the new rice measuring cup. Serve only the best quality rice and never hold past the four hour expiration time. Remember, the rice will either make or break this product. Serve only the best. Remember to stir the finished rice after the 30 minute rehydration time. Red strips. Always separate the red strips before frying. Never prepare red strips and nacho chips at the same time. Never salt the red strips. Hold on line in one sixth pans with false bottom for no more than 10 hours. Now let's review the overall border bowls tips for success. Always use the new rice disher. Never pack or tab. Fill lettuce to the rim. Never pack. Portion red strips. Be sure to round off the Fiesta salsa portions. Provide one packet of zesty dressing with every bowl. For to-go orders, place the clear plastic lid on top of the bowl. Then put the bowl into the small bag. And don't forget to add one packet of zesty dressing. For dine-in customers, serve without a lid. Well, now you've seen how a fresh taste can take on a totally new shape at Taco Bell. As part of your training today, we've shown you how to make the perfect rice. You've learned how to fry and store our new red strips. And most importantly, you've learned how to make and serve an abundant border bowl. Well, now it's your turn for you to deliver a wow border bowl to your customers every time so that they can experience the great new taste sensation at Taco Bell.